<coughs> right, good day learners and welcome to today's video in which we are going to be looking at how to calculate a new value when we have the percentage. So the percentage has been given to us, but we are looking to calculate a new value. And there are three methods that we can use to do this. <coughs> so let's look at this. Let's say, for instance, we have a toy and this toy costs 23 Rand and 99 cents. That is excluding that. OK, we need to calculate the cost of the toy, including that. All right. What is that? That is going to be. 15%. So do you see what they're asking us to do? They want us to calculate a new value, in other words, to get an answer when we actually have the percentage. In the previous examples, we were looking at getting the percentage as an answer, but now we have the percentage and we need a new value as an answer. Okay, so we're going to look at three methods that we can do this. Method number one, I could say, okay, well, I'm going to take 23.99. I'm going to multiply that by 15%. Okay, that is then going to give me an answer of 3 Rand 60. Then I'm going to take my 23.99 and I'm going to add it to the 360. And that's going to give me a total of 27.59. So what I did is I got the 15% amount of the 23.99, which was 360. And I then added it to the original amount. OK, so that's method number one. Method number two is quite simple. I'm taking my 23.99 and I'm simply going to multiply it by 115 percent. Now you might say, whoa, that is that is horribly wrong. How can we do something like that? Well, have a look at method number one. In method number one, what did I calculate? I calculated 15 percent. Then I had to add it to the original amount. The original amount is 100%. Okay, so when I say multiply by 115%, I'm actually saying, well, multiply it by the original amount, which is 2399 and 15% of that amount. So it's basically doing all of this in one. Um, and you'll see when you do it on your calculator, it will give you your answer. And then we've got method number three. So method number three uh, is actually where they work on what looks like a ratio, right? So you've got 23,99 and that is our, that represents our 100%. We don't know what is going to represent our 115%, but if we are to take 115 plus our 100 multiplied, by 23.99, we'll end up with Now, because we don't know what that is, what we're going to do is we're going to take that 115. We are then going to divide that by 100 and multiply whatever that answer is by 23.99. And that will give me my answer of 27,59. So guys, you can clearly see there are there are three methods to doing this. Um, you know, you can use any of those methods as long as you end up with the correct answer. OK, so let's look at one or two examples um, before we close off with this video.
So our first example is the petrol price. And the petrol price is going down by 1,25%. And they're saying to us, if we were paying 14 Rand 50 cents per liter, how much will we actually be paying now? So remember, the price has gone down by 1.25%. So I'm going to use method one again, method two, and method three. So maybe let's just work backwards. Method three said, well, I'm going to take my 14.50, and that represents my 100%. Uh, I'm going 0.25, so Point, uh, what we'll do is to work that out instead of it being remember we're not going up we're going down so you'll take that and you'll minus this percentage from the 100 percent and that would be 98,75 percent why that amount because when i add 1.25 percent to that it gives me 100 percent please remember this is how you work this out if you are going down However, if the petrol price is going up by 2%, this would then be 100% plus whatever that is. Okay, so just keep that in mind. Then remember, what would we do here? We would take our, 90, our 98, sorry, not rands, our 98,75. We would divide that by 100, get our answer, and multiply that by the 14.50. Okay. It'll give us our answer of 14.32. Method number two simply stated, well, let's deduct that percentage because we're going down from the original percentage or from 100%. And we would simply say 14.50 times 98.75%, which is the same percentage over there. And then we'd get our 14.32. And then method number one, said well we're going to take our 1450 and we're going to multiply it by the percentage which will give us 0 0.18 or 18 cents and because we are going down with that we will subtract that from the original amount and that will give me 14 rand and 32 cents okay remember 98.75 um, is down from the original price because the price has decreased. Right, let's look at one more example. We've got Tembi and Tembi receives a 20% discount on a pair of shoes Uh, which normally sell for 450 Rand. Calculate how much Tembi will be spending now. Okay, so a discount. A discount means what? means you're paying less. means it's going down, right? So the same is going to apply here. Let's look at method number one again. And what, what are we, we going to be doing? We're going to be taking our original amount, our 450, what are we going to be doing with that? Multiplying it by the percentage. What's that going to end up giving us? That's going to give us 90 Rand. And then we are going to take our 450 and subtract 90 from that. Okay. And that will end up giving us 360 Rand. Remember method number two? Method number two simply said, well, let's take the 450 and we're going to multiply it by what this time? Is it going to be 120%? No, because we're going down. So we got to deduct that percentage from 100% and that would mean to be 80% and that would then give me my 360. Method number three said what was? Well, 450 represents 100%. What would then 